Welcome back everybody. Well, last time we began our journey to become a paladin. And we climbed Mount Hobbs to face the earth and spoil the fallen. Uh. Bastard snuck up behind me. Anyways, we gotta fight him once again, but unfortunately he gets a back attack. So this, this is one of the neatest features I find about this game. Is that when you change, they become poisoned. No. They all change. The rows always change. So, yep, like before. Um, strengthen with Pullum. Don't use. Just use Pullum and Tele. Pow, uh, and Tele for curing. And just have Adam with uh, Fire 2 as much as possible in Cecil. Now. Fire 2. So now he is weak to fight. Well, he's not necessarily weak, but he does. takes a lot more damage than he did before. Yeah, quite a bit more. Suck gas, evildoers. God damn it. I swear, it's like they program these things to deliberately go after the weakest character. Um, excuse me. Why did that not wake him up? I don't know. You'll notice the twin wasn't in, uh... was in black and white there because he was passed out. They both have to be alive for it to uh, take effect. Uh, oh boy. I should have turned the music up a bit more, but I didn't. Damn it. I also should have strengthened there, but whatever. Don't bother curing the poison right now. Just deal with it. Just have the two... White mages curing. Oh, or he could die. Also, his hand's kind of twisted backwards. It's kind of weird. And he's got like tusks coming out of his armpits. Or maybe it's just like the decaying arm, underarm hair or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just gone really, really bad. And... Well. Don't want to think about it. Anyways, we've defeated him! Twice! No, I'm pretty sure you're falling off a mountain, dude. Yeah, fell off a mountain. Oh, damn it. Now you can cure the uh, poison. So we shall go down here. Looks kind of like a weird gravestone. What? The hell? What the hell? Where the hell are we? What? The hell's going on? I don't know if that's coming out of the mirrors there, or it's falling down from the top. But anyways, this is the light sword that transforms us into a purple-haired, yellow-caped paladin. Yeah, not the greatest color choices, people. But it's okay. So we are going to leave our past behind and move on. But first we must fight ourselves, literally. We must do it as a man. Yes, this is my fight. Aha, I pushed you back into the mirror. Anyways, just sit here and enjoy the show. Keep in mind, Cecil starts at level 1 when he becomes a paladin. 
Don't do one, Ellie. Yep. Wait. First, I what? I I don't understand. Son, literally, are you my father? Or what? Blah blah blah. Okay, I'm confused. What the hell just happened? Do you literally mean you are my father? And we become a paladin. Dark Knight Cecil is no longer. He has a new sprite. Not the, uh, I think his dark sprite's more intimidating, but whatever. We're doing good. Ah, Sotella has remembered all his spells and he is now no longer senile. He has learned me, Tio. Me and Tio. Here we go. Only problem is, is it costs 99 MP and he only gets a max of 90 MP. Doesn't matter how much you raise him up, he's never going to be able to cast it. Alright, well, let's get the hell off this rock. Yes, 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 my son. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, do a little spin. One of the neat things about doing emulators, though, is you can turn off the different levels of background. So there's Tilda has all the spells back. Everything single white spell except for the Almighty, or rather the controversial. Holy spell, and for some reason. I guess I can't warp out of here. Thought I could. Oh well. So remember, Cecil is de equipped all of his equipment. So if you wanted to keep his black armor for some reason, you would have to take it off before entering there. And he starts at level 1. See, level 1. Pretty good stats for level 1, though. Don't worry, fight like one battle and you'll like gain. You'll be up to like level 6 after one battle. One or two battles, so. Gets up there pretty quickly. As well as the stat gain is a lot higher. So I guess for some reason we have to walk down the mountain. Also, by the way, it comes with. This woody comes equipped with just cloth and uh, legend. Legend is. Holy Sword, so it will ca be causing holy damage and it will be wiping the floor with all the undead monsters. It'll be doing like 250, 2 250 points of damage to every undead monster, so. Shame this is pretty much the last place you see undead monsters. I mean, you see a ton of them in the beginning, but it's the last place we pretty much see them for most of the game. Making the Light Sword kind of useless. So anyways, drop off any money items at the Fat Chocobo, also if you want to hear. I think I might have picked it up already. We get a vegetable. Let's get ourselves a Chocobo. And we'll head back to the city now. Do 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 do. I am riding a yellow Chocobo. Cho chocobo. Kinda runs a little funny, but that's okay, cause I love him anyways. But that sucks, cause he has a yellow tail. I know I suck real bad at running everything. Don't really sing. Yeah, anyways, I suck at singing. And there we go. Couldn't remember what button. Anyways, let's head back to Missidia. Or get attacked. So here we are in Missidia. Picked up some 
equipment for Cecil. Light, light, night, and... Okay, that's kind of funny. Anyways, light, light, night, and gauntlet. All only accessible to the Paladin. And they really boost the stats up. Like, I mean, the armor brings it up, his defense up by like two points. Also got uh, all the wizards with the triangle, which I believe steepled hat in the other parts, and Gaia robes and sil uh, silver, which all bring up uh, good magic defense. So there we go. And Cecil's up to about level 13. So let's just go see the elder and check up what's up on him and say hello. How's it going? You're alive. I mean, you're alive. Great. Great, great, great. All good. It's all good. What? You didn't trust me, you jackass? What? What the hell is going on? I hate when I'm left out of things. Uh, you got a point. Anyways. We are a holy light of whatever... Prophecy. What? Obsidian Legend. What the hell's it doing on my sword? And we get the classic 8-bit prelude. I don't know if it's 8-bit. It sounds a little 8-bit-ish to me, but anyways. One born from the mouth of a dragon rises towards the heavens with light and darkness. A sleeping promise shall awake. Which means it's required to happen. Failed. In the light of eternity. Amen. Mother Earth. shall be blessed with really slow mercy and salvation scrolling text really slow scrolling text anyways there's the uh, la -la 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 -la, Mysidian Prophecy I think that's slightly different I think that's the direct translation it's something about Dragon's Maw or something like that in the uh, I don't know in the remakes Really? So you think I'm that holy dark person? Oh yes, I forgot about him. I completely forgot why the hell I went to Mount Orgates. Dude, I am the legend, and I know the legend magic. Legendary, whatever. I will destroy him with my meteor up his ass. I'll just like smash him into the ground and then call down a meteor to just give him a meaty enema. A menema. That's what I'll give him. Bella, Paladin. Colbez. Okay, I understand. Yes, okay. Go. Oh, cool. Okay. So we are going to head to Baron finally. Wait, what's going on? Oh, seriously, no, 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 Oh, God, no. Came a paladin. Gone from being a dark knight to a paladin to an old folks nurse and babysitter for kids. Great. Oh, God, what the hell has my life come to? Oh, my God. Oh my, get out of my way. I can, yeah, they're still with us. Not that I don't mind them. 
It's being a little over dramatic there. Anyways, let's take Devil Road. Now this dungeon is a long and hard, treacherous dungeon. The hell? Eh? Yeah, while well, we're there. So anyways, here we are in the town of Barron. And this is where we'll pick it up in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye.